Hello guys, it is me, Eric, again. I've made the decision to stop the tutorial series due to a number of factors. Mainly one being I just don't have time anymore to continue the series. School, work, family and friends are all consuming my time. And frankly, I'm also losing interest in Minecraft in general, and specifically um, kind of the PvP client area of Minecraft. Um, in the next year or two, uh, some big changes are going to be happening in my life, and I need time to kind of move forward with these changes, accept them, and just move forward in my life. I can't be doing uh, PvP client drills for the rest of my life, despite how I think some people would like that. <laughs> um, I've been asked a few times on if I'm going to open source um, all the code for the client once the series have ended. Um, I'm still not super sure if I want to do this or not. Um, part of me says I should go for it, the series is over, give everyone the code. Um, but the other part of me says that if I give out the code, people are going to put less and less time into coding a client um, if they're just handed code. Um, I would love to hear uh, your guys' a uh, list of pros and cons of why or why not I should do this uh, in the comments below. Just please respect uh, other people's opinions on the matter. Next topic I want to cover is the support server and what's going to be happening with it. Um, this plan is still kind of up in the air, but I plan to keep the server running um, as normal until January 1st, 2024. After that date, I'm going to put the server into read-only mode. What I mean by this is all channels, um, you won't be able to send messages anymore, no bot commands, no nothing. And any new members who join will not need to complete a CAPTCHA, they will just be given uh, the member role and a just get member role essentially, and they can read all the channels and try to get um, as much help from that as they can. Um, maybe around mid, kind of, spring of 2024 to January 1st of 2025, I will be, uh, kicking every member off the server and disabling invites. Uh, this should give people roughly a year or so after I arc, uh, after I put the server to read-only mode to send any friend requests you need, um, or download any files off of the support server. Um, I also plan to archive every single file and image and every message that has ever been sent on the Discord server uh, into uh, HTML and uh, a JSON file. The sort of plan with this is to have a kind of a permanent archive of the support server, at least the main channels anyway, um, and allow people to view it without needing a Discord account uh, and without having to deal, mostly deal with people sending a bunch of friend requests and spamming people if I keep the server open. So if I have a web page, don't have to deal with people on Discord anymore. And everyone's files that have been sent will be up permanently unless somebody wants them to be taken down and I can take them down. Um, plan is to start archiving the guild once it's put into its read-only mode uh, in 2024. As for the YouTube channel, first and foremost, if you want to unsubscribe because I'm not making any more PvP clan tutorials, please do so. It doesn't hurt my feelings and I completely understand if you don't care about any future content I put out. It makes total sense. Um, I'm not exactly sure what I want to do with my channel. Uh, maybe I start another series, except hopefully a lot more planned out and less kind of sporadic upload schedule as this series has had. Um, maybe I upload some behind the scenes on prop programming and kind of the IT side of my job working at a haunted attraction in the middle of a forest. Uh, please let me know in the comments if you have ideas for future tutorials. Maybe it doesn't even involve Minecraft at all. As I said, it could be a different game of hacking or modding another game or 
maybe it is more Minecraft stuff. I don't know. Maybe it's plugin tutorials. I'm totally open to hearing any thoughts you guys have, either on the Discord server or in the comment section of this video. I wanted to also say, from the bottom of my heart, thank you for this amazing time. I've met so many new friends through creating this series in the Discord server, uh, and I also feel like I've been pretty successful at building a small community. Um, I will see you all sometime in the future on the internet. Take care, my dudes. Thank you.